Okay, everyone. Hello, hello. Welcome to Comics, 98 Percentiles Comics, Designer and Storytellers. I am Ms. Zaida or Ms. Z, and I am happy to see all of you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, so let's get started to the uh, let's get started with the biggest comic strip contest of the year. Today's 90th percentile comics tells a tale with comic strips. But before we start, let's go get your parents. Calling all parents, calling all parents. Please, please, please run, run, run and go get your parents. I will only take a little bit of their time. Okay, I'll give you one minute to go get them. And while you're grabbing your parents, please make sure to have something to write on, a notebook or paper and a pen. Go get your parents, guys. Go, go, go. Okay, parents, thank you for joining us. Thank you for being with, uh, with us today. I'm only going to take a little bit of your time and show you a very quick presentation. And parents, please kindly note that this session is being recorded for quality and marketing purposes and to make sure I'm doing a good job. We will share screenshots and snippets of this video on our social media and our other websites to let the world know how fantastic your children are. So who are we? Who is 98th percentile and why are we amazing? We are an online e-learning company, and we teach ELA, public speaking, coding, and math. And what's great about us is that we have live classrooms, we have acceleration and skill mastery methods, and we also have small class sizes. And what are the benefits of joining 98th percentile? Well, it's eight times the value for your money. And who doesn't want to save money? We have personalized learning with fantastic teachers like me, proactive and progressive methods. We use award-winning platforms and we have an accelerated curriculum that will enable your child to progress very quickly. So why? Do our customers love us? Take a look at all of these fantastic reviews and please look on the chat. You will find links where you can click to read the reviews about our classes and our fantastic teachers. Also, if you have any questions, please write it in the chat and someone will answer them for you. So we have a fantastic offer today, an event only offer. You get four weeks of free classes. There is no credit card required and it's first come, first serve. So act fast, you don't wanna miss your spot. Okay, that's four weeks of free classes. Take advantage of that fantastic opportunity. And how do you register? It's very, very simple. Step one, you go to 98thPercentile.com and register for the free trial. And again, please take a look at the chat. You will find the link there where you can click to register. Step two, you're going to book the correct grade level free trial class on the portal. Yeah, make sure you click on the correct grade level for your child or children. And this event only offer is only valid for trial, free trial classes before June 7th. So act fast because you don't have a lot of time. And we have another extra surprise special offer for today only. Get up to $100 off if you choose to 
uh, enroll directly. So enroll directly and get $100 off. That is a fantastic deal. And again, parents, if you have any questions, please, please write them in the chat and someone will answer them for you. So let's talk about what a comic strip is. It's a sequence of drawings, often cartoons, arranged in panels to display humor or a story, a narrative, and it often has text balloons or captions. And what is comics? 98th percentiles comics is one of a kind contest where first your child is going to learn how to develop a storyline with me in their minds around their favorite superhero, robots, pets, and other fictional and non-fictional characters. And then after, we will teach them how to transition that storyline into a graphic visual in the form of a comic strip. Isn't that fantastic? I think so. So let's take a look at some famous comic strips. We have Superman, Batman, and Robin, super classic. Everyone knows about Superman and Batman, a classic, classic um, comics who have that's been turned into many, many movies. And we also have Garfield, the adorable naughty cat that gets into different adventures, as well as Batman, another Batman and Robin and the Joker, another classic uh, comic strip that has been turned into various movies. So how will we divide our groups for our contest? First, we have grade one and two in the unicorn group. We have grades three and four, which is today with the Garfield group and grades five and six for our Phoenix group. Now, take a note of this a very important timeline and important dates for the contest. From June 4th to June 6th, we are going to have our master classes where, again, your child or children will be learning how to write a storyline and putting that storyline into a comic strip. On June 9th, very important, write this down. Yeah, we are going to start accepting those comics entries. June 10 to the 18th is a very important time as well because you have to submit and promote your comics. Let the world know, let your family, your friends, your teachers, everyone know to like and share your comics because with you get the most votes, you will be the winner. So that will be from June 10th to the 18th. And then on June 20th, we announce the fantastic winners for the contest. So make sure to take a uh, note of those dates. So we are going to have two master classes today. The first one is with me. We're going to create a storyboard or a storyline, and then we'll take a break. And afterwards, we'll continue with how to design a comic strip. So how will we be submitting these comic strips? So for grade one and two, they will be uh, doing hand-drawn comic strips and we'll submit those. And grade three to six will be submitting their comic strips and completing their comic strips on Canva and they will be submitted electronically. So submitting on the comics wall, all comics are created, all, co excuse me, all comics created will be submitted on the 98th percentile comics wall. The comics submitted will be verified to make sure there, that there aren't any naughty words or misleading storyboards or sour graphics. Any animations or words that are derogatory will be filtered out. The post submitted on comics would have features to like and share the comic on social media. So be sure to like and share. Let everyone know that you are in this context so that you can be the winner. And then the top three uh, posts in each category that receives the most likes will be the winner of the contest. So these are some examples of the comics. Yeah, we have uh, three panel comics and also four panel up to six panel comics. And it doesn't always have to be a superhero. It can be just a character or an animal as well. So hmm, what superpowers will your child benefit from by participating in comics? 
first of all, they will be uh, king and queen of comics. They'll be able, eligible to win Amazon gift cards. They'll have social media fame because we will be letting everyone know that they are fantastic. They will become a literacy ed, uh, a legend. We will have some online interviews and everyone who has participated will also get a certificate. And also the best part, scholarships up to $1,000. Third place will win a $10 Amazon gift card and 50% off a scholarship for 12 week subscriptions to any of our programs, whether it be ELA, math, public speaking or coding. Second place will have a $20 Amazon gift card plus 80% scholarship for 12 week subscription again to any of our classes in our program. And the first place is going to win a $50 Amazon gift card amazing and a 12 week free subscription to any of our programs again that would be ELA public speaking math or coding that is fantastic. So thank you very, very much, parents, for taking the time to listen to our presentation. Now, if your children are not with you, please call them back. Call them back because we are ready to get started. And make sure that they have a piece of paper, a pen or a pencil, or a notebook because we are going to get creative. OK, so please call your children back. And I'll just give them a minute to do that. Thank you for your time, parents. Okay, is everyone ready? Can I get some virtual hands? Virtual hands, who is ready, ready to write a fantastic story? Yes, Azia, I see Azia is ready. Ooh, we, ooh, everyone is ready, fantastic. Yes, 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 wonderful. Okay, so <clears throat> first I want to know, before we get started, first, I want to know what is your favorite superhero? What's your favorite superhero? Let me know. Vote, 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 and tell me who is your favorite superhero. We will have one minute to vote. Let me know who is your favorite superhero. Oh, my goodness. Supergirl, okay. Thor, yeah, that's a good one. Excellent. Okay, oh, oh, it looks like Iron Man is taking the lead. Okay. All right, we just have uh, 10 more seconds here to place your vote to the last person who has not voted. <laughs> You've got 10 little seconds. Okay, well then let's continue. Here we go. The winner is Iron Man. Iron Man seems to be our favorite superhero. It is pretty fantastic. Okay, let's get started. Ooh, remember, make sure you have something to write with and something to write on. And at any time, if you have any questions, please type it in the chat and someone will answer those questions for you. All right, and I have a question for you. What is a comic strip? What is a comic strip? Type it in the chat. Raise your hand and let me know what is a comic strip. Okay, let me hear Azia. Azia, what is a comic strip? A comic strip is um, a basically a story that's entertaining or funny for people to read. Oh, very good. That is an excellent answer. Super, super. Okay, let's hear from Arnav. Arnav, what is a comic strip? A comic strip is like a poem of two or like a, a story of two or more panels with like speech bubbles, thought bubbles, 
and Tom Megan. Wow, you definitely know your stuff. Great job. Excellent, excellent. Both of those answers are correct. Well done, everyone. So a comic strip is a little story with pictures and everything that Arnav and Azia said. Well done. Okay, now let's take a look. What is a character? What is a character? Yep, write it in the chat or let me know, raise your hand and let me know what is a character. Yeah, I see excellent answers here in the, um, yeah, a character is a made up person, Ahana says, very good. Yep, in a story. <laughs> yep, that's important, okay. All right, let's see. Who can tell me who, what is a character, who is a character? Okay, Jonathan, Jonathan, what is a character? A character can be um, either one of the plots in the story to make the story funny, because um, I read a lot of examples in comics, certain characters help the story build up and certain characters that people know, they uh, help to like build character and make the, um, make the joke funny, because sometimes the joke cannot make sense if they don't know a certain character well, which is why the character can be very important. Wow, Jonathan. Wow. Fantastic. Yeah, you definitely know your stuff too. Well done. I can see that you've read a lot of comic strips. Okay, what about you, Van? You, Van, what is a character? Um, you, Van. Oh, sorry. And sorry, you, Van. A character is in the person. Is a person in the story that walks, talks, and sometimes does something. All right, very good, sometimes super job. Can make funny jokes. Or yeah. Something. Yes, very good. Sometimes. Okay, excellent, super job, thank you. And thank you for correcting me on your name, Yuvan. Okay, all right, so let's take a look. Everyone here is correct, yeah? A character is a person and it can also be an animal or a thing in a story. And writers use characters to perform the actions and speak dialogues to move a story along the plot line, along, along the plot line. Bloop, bloop. <laughs> Okay, so there are five, five elements of storytelling. The first one is the hero or the heroine or the character, okay? We also have a villain, which is another character that is going to be the bad guy or the enemy. We have the rising action. The rising action is going to make our readers interested in our story. And then we have the climax, yes, where usually it is the superhero or the heroine fighting with the villain. And our last key element is the resolution. Now we are going to take a look at all of these parts and get ready because we are going to start our brainstorming for our fantastic stories. So who can tell me what kind of characters or what does a hero or heroine do? Please, please, please write it in the chat or raise your hand and let me know, share with me. What is the hero or the heroine? What characters do they have? Let's see what we got here. Yep. Yeah. Oh, they solve a problem. Ahana, that's fantastic. They solve a problem. Yeah. Or defeat a villain. They save the day. Yep. Yeah. Very. Wow. These are fantastic answers. Yeah. Let me hear from some of you. Um, let's see. Jan uh, is it Janelle? It's Janel. Jenel, thank you, Jenel. I'm, I apologize for saying your name incorrectly. Okay, so tell me what you think, a hero or heroine. What is their characteristics? What do they do? They, they're basically, they go against the villain or the bad guy and um, try to do the good things mm -hmm. and defeat the bad guy. Ooh, that is fantastic. Super job. What a great answer. Well done. Okay, let me hear from one more person. Uh, how about... How about Yuvan? Yuvan, tell me. Oh, sorry, Arnav, Arnav. Hey, 
Arnold heroine is like the people who stop the villain. Uh, mm-hmm. if, if they're superheroes, they can sometimes have superpowers like flying. Ooh, yes. Yes, fantastic. What a great job. Great answer. Well done. Well done. Okay. Excellent, everyone. Everyone, yep. Jonathan says, saves the day and comics case be funny as well. Yes, well done. You guys are so good. You know all your stuff. Okay, so let's take a look. Yeah, so our character or hero or heroine takes action. Okay, and combats dangers and adversity or adversity and has the courage and strength to save the day or to take the action that he or she needs to take. So what I want you to do right now is write down in your papers or in your notebooks, who is going to be the hero or heroine in your story or character. Guys, it does not have to be a superhero. It can be a dog. It can be a monkey. It can be anything you want. This is your time to be creative. So once you have decided who your hero or heroine is, please, please, please write it in the chat and raise your hand because I want to hear from you. And now I decided my superhero is Wonder Woman, okay? But again, you don't have to do a superhero or, su- or a superheroine. You can also do um, a fictional or non-fictional character. So write that down on your papers. Writing on your papers is the most important, guys, because you're gonna need it for the next class, okay? Let's see what we got here. Oh, a bird. Azia says a bird. Yes, Ahana, you can absolutely make up your character, sweetie. Absolutely. Yep. Azia says a bird. Okay. Let me hear from, let me hear from Janil. Wait, Janil, did I say that right again? Did I say that right? Janil, hello? Yeah, you said it right. Oh, oh, oh yay, yay. <laughs> okay, um, tell me, who, who are you thinking about for your um, character, your hero or heroine? Um, I'm thinking maybe like a frog. Oh, a frog sounds good. A frog sounds good. Excellent. All right, let me hear from Jonathan. Jonathan, let me know who your hero or heroine is. I'm Jonathan. working on drawing it right now. It's not, uh, my comic isn't planning to be necessarily a hero comic, more of a comic. That's okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that sounds good. So who's your character then? Who's your fictional or non-fictional character? Oh, hello? I'm deciding if I want to do simple and sweet or nice and detailed and at the same time funny. I don't know. So but you, so, oh, so you're still figuring it out, your character? Okay, that sounds good. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Jonathan. What about Arnav? Arnav, who is your hero, heroine, or fictional or non-fictional character? Actually, I'm still thinking. You're still thinking? Okay, no problem. You can write it in the chat when you have it, okay? Yep, and one more. How about you, Van? You, Van, who are you thinking about for your hero, heroine, or villain? I mean, not villain, excuse me, or character? Oh, you Ben, I can't hear. Oh, a dragon. A dragon. I don't know know about the villain, though. No, we we don't. Wait, sorry. I I, that was my mistake. We're not at the villain yet. I got too excited. (laughs) I got too excited. Great job, you Van. Okay. All right, everyone. Let's see. Oh, Tapasia says a cat. Yep, I like it. Arnav, what is your question? Oh, it's Isa. Isa? Okay, thank you. Arnav, hold on a second. Let me get to you, Arnav, so I can answer your question. Yes, Arnav, tell me your question, honey. What are we supposed to write on the paper? Yes, please do. Please, you know why? Because after this class, you're going to make your comic strip. Yes, you're going to transition your story into a comic strip. So write it down on a paper or a notebook. Yeah, so that you have your storyline ready, okay? Wait, but what are we supposed to write on the paper? Right now, the only thing that you're writing is who your hero or heroine is or who your fictional or non-fictional character. Like mine is Wonder Woman and um, some of our other friends have a cat or a frog or a dragon. Okay. 
So just write, think about who you want your hero or heroine to be. Okay? All right, I'll take that as a okay. All right, so let's continue with our, one second, let me see who we, okay. Um, let's continue with our villain. So who can tell me what is a villain? Write it in the chat, yes, or raise your hand so you can, ooh, let's see. We've got some excitement here, all right. Jonathan, tell me, who. what is a villain? Well, a villain can be either, um, well, in the case of a, uh, a superhero comic, can be the person that's doing the wrong and the superhero can do it in the right. Normally, in the comedy comics, though, the villain can be considered the mean character or the character that the main character in the comic um, conversates with most. Jonathan, you are wow, okay? You definitely know your comic stuff. You are just fantastic, okay? Arvand, you, would you like to add to that? Arnav, excuse me? Yes. The villains are the like, antagonists of the story. Oh, yes, uh-huh. They, they like, uh, get in the way of what the hero wants. Yeah. And, and if it's in a, uh, like a superhero comics, it's like they're trying to destroy everything. Yes. Wow. Arnav, you are super. That is super fantastic. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. Let me hear from, uh, let me hear from Prabhav. Prabhav, excuse me if I've said that name wrong. Can you tell me what you think a villain is? Well, I think uh, a villain doesn't necessarily have to um, be, a villain doesn't have to, a villain could be like a normal person who mm -hmm. like, um, who like just um, gets consumed by evilness or something. Mm -hmm. And then, and then could either like go like, um, like if a superhero and another superhero argue against each other, for example, and then one of those superheroes, they just don't agree and they rage and they become a supervillain. Ooh, that, that is fantastic. You also know your stuff. Well done. Wow, wow, and wow. You guys are amazing. Let me take a look at the chat and see some of the answers. Yeah, the villain may have superpowers. Okay, a bad guy who destroys everything who is mean or thinking bad is good. Okay, a villain can be a person who gets consumed by evilness. Fantastic. Ooh, I like this one. Someone who makes things hard or makes obstacles. You guys are amazing, amazing. Okay, so let's take a look here. Yes, all of you are absolutely correct. So our villain is going to be wicked, naughty, sometimes criminal and mean as some of you have said. They oppose the hero or the character and they carry out some harmful or evil plan. So now I'm going to give you a minute, yeah, to think about who is going to be the villain of your story. So be sure to write it down on your paper because remember you need it for your next class. And once you've written it on your paper, please write it in the chat or raise your hand and let me know who is your villain. Ooh, I like that. VM, a clone of a superhero. That's fantastic. That's fantastic, a clone of a superhero. And so you don't know who, which, which one is which. Yes, good job, Frosty, <laughs> Frosty. I made up my villain, his name is the Dark Knight. Ooh, uh -huh, I want to hear about that, an evil dragon. Okay, Tapasia says a dog. That's fantastic. Wait a minute. I want to hear about, I want to hear about this, the dark. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, I want to hear about the dark night. I want to hear about the dark night. Um, Ahana, can you tell me about the dark night? I want to hear about your character. Oh, hello. Um, so the Dark Knight, I, I think like he's going to be hidden. Um, mm -hmm. So no one really knows who's under, like who the Dark Knight is. And he, yeah. 
if like someone's gonna see him, he's gonna have like a dark mask on, so no one really knows who it is. Uh huh. Oh, that's fantastic. That sounds amazing. I can't wait to hear your story. Thank you. Okay, VM, tell us about your villain. Is uh, I made a a di I made a dinosaur villain, and I call and I call it Scorpio Rex. Oh, Scorpio it's, Rex! It's kind of like a scorpion, uh, a plus a Rex. Oh, that sounds and fantastic! It, mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, it can jump really high, and its bite is very venomous. It can kill. I was going to say that sounds like a very, very dangerous dinosaur. Fantastic. Well done. Oh, let me hear one more. Uh, Janelle, could, please tell us. Janelle, wait. Janelle, Janelle. Tell us, please. It's Janelle. And, Janelle, thank um, you. Um, so my plan is, so there's a fish, but it only gets evil in the night. In Ooh. the day, it's a really good fish and doesn't like evilness. Yeah, but at the night it becomes really evil and wow. attack the villain. Oh, that is fantastic. You guys have some very amazing ideas. That is great, great, great. Yes. Oh, Pegasus. Yuvan says a Pegasus. And Radithia says a planet destroyer and also an evil version of a superhero. You guys are awesome. These are some really creative ideas. Great job. Okay, so now let's take a look at the rising action. So the rising action includes a series of events. Okay, and it also increases the tension to the story, which is going to lead to your climax. Now, you can start thinking about this, but we're going to go into details and dig in further in just a minute. Okay, but what I want you to understand about the rising action is that you want to increase that tension because you don't want your reader to fall asleep. <sighs> What was I doing? Oh, yeah, I was reading this comic book, okay, or this comic strip. So be uh, thinking about how you are going to rise that action in your story to keep your reader excited for what is going to happen next, okay? All right, here we go. And now let's also take a look at the conflict. Yeah, I apologize for anyone who's, whose um, name I'm saying incorrectly. And thank you so much for um, correcting me. I really appreciate that. So let's take a look at the conflict. And I want to know, what is a conflict? Yeah, so type it in the chat. Type it in the chat or raise your hand and tell me, what is the conflict part of the story. Okay, here we go. Oh, we got some answers here. Let me see. Oh, fighting. Tapasia says fighting. Yep. Okay. Oh, a problem. Yep. A problem. Very good. Okay. All right. Let's hear from jo our fantastic super uh, comic strip uh, expert, Jonathan. So a conflict, it, uh, as most of us have said uh, in a superhero comic book, is fighting or a certain point where the villain is stealing something. And then in a comedy comic, uh, it can be uh, the, um, the point where it spikes that interest with a funny joke. So. Absolutely. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Also, you yes. Also. Mm -hmm. As. Which do you prefer, one or two? This is the detailed one. This is the like common, simple one. You probably can't see it that well. Just one is simple and cute. Two is detailed. Uh, I just want to hear from you. Mm, you know what? I, I, I like simple. I like simple yes. yeah, and okay. cute. <laughs> yeah. But okay. that's just me because I like, I like things simple and straight to the point. Yeah. Guys. So I think you should go with that. <laughs> yeah, the little simple guys are little dragons. Um, the uh, the the kind of backstory with it is that they went, uh, were planning on living peacefully with the humans, but they all ran off. So oh, they no. just live in a dragon-filled civilization. 
Oh, ooh, ooh, that sounds interesting. And you can tell me more about it when we get more into the details of the story, okay, Jonathan? I can't yeah. wait to hear about it. All right, excellent. Okay, we've got here in the chat, we've got catastrophe. A conflict can be the part of the story when a supervillain can release his evil plan. Prabha, that is just perfect. Oh my goodness, you guys are so amazing. What an amazing group of students. Excellent. Okay, so let's take a look. All of, first of all, all of you are right and correct. Okay, and um, a conflict here is a, a clash or a struggle between two opposing forces, good versus evil, good versus evil. Okay, and then also the main character can struggle with something external, like a villain. And then also something internal. Oh, you guys, I forgot to tell you my villain. The name of my villain is Steely Burgers. And he likes to eat, he likes to steal burgers and cash. I forgot to tell you mine. So um, my conflict uh, is, uh, sorry. So one of my conflicts in my story is that Wonder Woman, she doesn't know, it's her day off and she doesn't know whether she wants to take her weapons with her or not. So it can be a conflict that's with an outside, something outside of the, of the character or also something inside, a big decision that they have to make, okay? So remember that when you're writing your story. And the conflict provides the central tension of the story. It is the absolute most exciting, exciting part of the story. Now, I know you guys are really eager to write your stories, but wait just a moment because we're going to dig deep into that rising action and conflict in just a minute. Okay. All right. You guys are doing such a great job. Let's talk about the resolution. Resolution, what do you think is the resolution? Please, please, please write it in the chat. Raise your hands. Let me hear from some of you. Okay, uh, VM, am I saying that correctly? Hello? It's VM. Oh, VM, okay, thank you. All right, so um, what do you think is the resolution? Like meaning how how they solved it. Ooh, how they solved it. Excellent. Well done. Thank you. Okay. And then uh, Isa can 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 uh, correct me in her name or her name. I, is it Isa? No, it's Isa. Isa, Isa. Thank you, Isa. Okay, Isa, tell me what is the resolution? A resolution is I think the um solution to a problem the characters were facing. Yes, excellent. Isa, well done. Fantastic. Wow, good job. Okay, and let me hear for you, Van. You, Van, what is the resolution you think? I think the resolution is based on victory. Ooh, the victory. The, the, the good guy beats the bad guy. Oh, fantastic. Uh huh. Because mm -hmm. there's lots of Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you for that, Yuvan. Even though we're having a difficulty hearing you, I'm getting it and you are wonderful. Okay, so let's see. We've got some answers here in the chat. Happy. The resolution can be the time when a superhero wins against the villain. Ooh, or the villain wins against the superhero. Yeah, that against the hero. That's right. Yeah, happy endings. The resolution can be the time when the hero defeats the villain or the uh, e or the evil defeats the hero. Yes, absolutely. Victory. All right. <laughs> Great job. Let's see. We got one more. Having a party. Absolutely. Having a party or <laughs> yes, that is exactly right, Tapasya. Great job. Okay. So the resolution is, of course, the end of our story. And we learned what happens to the characters after the conflict is resolved. All of you are so great. You have all the right answers. Okay. So again, we're going to now dig deep into this. And you will get to share with me um, all of your uh, stories. So what is a plot line? What is a plot line? Let me know what a plot line is. <laughs> plot line, please. Janil, Janil, what is a plot line, honey? A plot line is kind of like how the story goes. Like in the start, you kind of rise up so to oh. um, create the problem. <laughs> And then it suddenly goes down to, and you get the solution. You are amazing. Let me tell you something. All of you are just absolutely amazing. This is so great. I can't believe it. Okay, Arnav, tell me. 
What is the plot line? Uh, the plot line is like the beginning, middle, and end of the of the uh, comic. Yeah. Um, it, it like basically is the whole story in summary if you read it out. Wow. Wow. Absolutely. Both of you are correct. It is the beginning, middle, and end. Absolutely. Yes, a plot line is basically the path of a story. For example, the beginning is first and goes until the end. Yes. Okay. A plot line can be the time when the villain thinks of their evil plan, the hero thinks of their plan, courtesy of Captain America's Civil War movie. <laughs> you guys are just awesome. Yeah. A plot line is a story. A story goes in a line. Yep, very good. Well done. You guys are amazing. Okay, so yep, it's a connected series of, ev of events, beginning, middle, and end to form the plot in the story. Great job, everyone. And now it's our time to brainstorm and write our stories. Now that you know who your uh, hero, heroine, or character is and your villain, we are going to um, get our papers. Yeah, make sure we have our papers. Make sure you write this down. Before you write in the chat, write in your papers because again, everyone, you are going to be taking your wonderful storylines and putting them into a comic. So you're going to need that. Okay, so let's take a look at the first step. The first step is the characters explaining or showing a problem. So remember that my character is Wonder Woman and she wants a day off. Yeah, so she has a day off. She's hungry and goes to the restaurant. And, sh and um, she thinks, oh, should I bring my weapons with me? She's like, oh, but it's my day off. And just as she's getting to the door, she says, okay, I'll just bring my whip just in case. Okay, so she brings her whip with her, even though it's her day off. So now I want to know how you are going to start your story. How are you going to start your story? I'll give you a minute or two to think up of some ideas of how you are going to start your story. So remember, write it on your paper first, then write it on your chat, write it in the chat, or raise your hand because I want to hear some of these fantastic, fantastic stories. Yep, I'll give you a minute or two to do that. <coughs> I can't wait to hear because I can I can hear and feel that all of you are super creative. So I can't wait to hear these stories. OK, let me start with um, our comic expert, Jonathan. Jonathan, I would love to hear how you're starting your story. So the start of my story is my, uh, uh, there are going to be three characters and this is the start of COVID-19. So they're all stuck in quarantine. Oh, and no. so he's, and so it's like, uh, it's like five weeks after. And then one of them's like, well, it's been five weeks. We can probably like go somewhere. Let's go to the movies. The other one's like, nope, closed. Okay. Oh. Then let's go get some can't closed. <laughs> uh let's go to the supermarket to get some food can't close uh, okay <laughs> Jonathan, <laughs> that sounds like a great start thank you for sharing okay let me hear from uh vm uh, vm vm let's hear from you how are you starting your story sweetie oh i can't hear you sweetheart i can't hear you can you hear me now? Oh, yes, I can. Okay, tell me how you're starting your story. So, uh, I am I started it off with a doctor. Uh, his nickname is Doc. I still need to think of a name for him. So, yeah. I named him Doc. And yeah. a Doc created a serum, which can create the type, the dinosaur I told you about, Scorpio yeah. Rex. Mm -hmm. And he, and he had it. He kept it very safely, but in his lab there was an attack. So the it got loose the serum for the uh for the dinosaur, and yeah. 
the Scorpio Rex got loose, and mm -hmm. it and it started terrorizing the world. Oh, oh my goodness! Yeah, that sounds very. What an exciting start! I want to know about what happens next. Thank you, Viam. Okay, and Isa, please tell us. My story is where it's there's a village, um, where where everything was peaceful, but the next morning of every day someone or everyone would have something missing but they didn't know who took it but oh. or everything they the only thing they knew was at the night they heard a, a weird rumbling sound Oh, that is fantastic. These are some super amazing ideas. I love it. Let me see what we have in the chat here. Let's take a look and let me see. Yep. Okay. Uh, okay. So, uh, Ahana says, yeah, one day a baby boy is born with superpowers, but his parents don't know yet, but he grows up and his parents are noticed that he's different than his parent parents and figure out that he has superpowers. Then in the news, they say something about gems being stolen in a rare gem that is deep under the ground so my hero be on the case Ooh, that sounds exciting a cat in the garden she plays in the garden she was good until the dog came oh that is fantastic okay well done let's take a look at our rising action remember we are increasing the tension we are getting our interested our readers super interested in what they are going to read next okay so mine is that um, while she's uh, quietly eating her burger at the back of the restaurant, she notices the villain, Steely Burger, yeah, robbing the restaurant of cash and burgers. Yes, yeah, so she's quietly eating. She just wants her day off and she notices that something has happened. Yeah, how are you going to rise the action in your story? I'll give you a minute or two. Yes, write it on your papers. Type it in the chat and raise your hand because I want to know what's next. Okay, I've got raised hands. Yeah, I want to hear from Arnav. Arnav, tell us, tell us, how are you going to increase that tension in your story? What is the rising action? So what happened is a Batman is looking up at, uh, looking down at Gotham City in his basket. Mm -hmm. and, and then just a building just disappears. And then oh. Another one's so oh, that's good. When he sees a wrecking ball striking on the buildings. And as soon as the wrecking ball hits the building, the building and the wrecking ball machine disappear. And <gasps> the wrecking ball machine appears on a new building and starts wrecking it. And I'm yeah. still trying to find out how Batman is, is going to stop the wrecking ball machine. Oh, that's it. Th th magic. It can't con uh, yeah, people can't control it. It's automated. That sounds like a really interesting story. I can't wait to hear the end of that. Yeah. Jenel, tell me about yours. How are you? How are you increasing the tension in your story? So um how I increase my tension in my story is I uh, my um characters are is a evil villain who um, makes, uh, who gets blood from animals and attaches it to his blood and it makes um, cool animal humans. And one animal he made is a chameleon, but in a person, so that person can change appearances and that helps him by, so, um, so, and then he, and then, and then he, um, trades and then he tells the chameleon person to trade places with the super guy and the and the super uh, and the hero's wife thinks he's the um uh his husband but it isn't 
Whoa, that is, wow, great job. I can't wait to hear the end of that. Let's hear one more. You then let me know, what, how are you, how are you uh, increasing the tension in your story? Oh, I can't hear you, sweetie. Oh no, hello. Oh, I can't hear you. Okay, I'll come around next time, you then. I'll come around next time. Oh, hello? Wait, wait. wait. Yeah. Um, so I was thinking oh, okay. about mm -hmm. um, increasing the tension by the Pegasus attacking the village of Dragon and the Dragon's ego and attack the Pegasus. But the Ooh. Pegasus. Um, kills them with their magic flying horn. What, like, what? And then it, once it's shot off and kills something, it regrows. Yeah. And then oh. uh, the hero, I named him Calker. He, Calker. Wait. Yeah, Calker. Uh, uh -huh. He goes and he um, somehow becomes like super powerful. Okay. And shoots out big fire at the unicorn, and then the battle starts. Oh, okay. That sounds fantastic. That sounds fantastic. Wow and wow. Oh, sorry, honey. Oh, very good. I. Uh huh. And then, okay, very good. That sounds very exciting. I am so interested in uh, knowing what happens next. Let's see what we got in the chat here. Yep, we've got the cat jumped and the dog is chasing the cat. The cat tries to run away, but the dog is fast. Okay, and then we've got the planted destroyer comes to earth and had a bad day. So he decided to destroy earth and the main character decides to save earth and his uh, strength and his and his look changes. Oh, his look changes and increases the strength and he can change into more levels. Wow. How fantastic. So now let's take a look at that climax. Yes, that conflict. All right. So here's mine. So Steely Burger tries to escape, but Wonder Woman unleashes her lip whip around his legs and hangs him from his feet from the ceiling and then stuffs his mouth with burgers. Oh, she says, you want burgers? Well, here's some burgers. Oh. Yeah, so what is the conflict in your story? Let me know what is the most exciting part of your story. I'll give you a minute or two. Write it on your papers right here, the most important. Yeah, and then you can write it in the chat and raise your hand and let me know what is the conflict in your story. I can't wait to hear it. Okay, yep. Jonathan's ready. Jonathan, tell me about the conflict. So after he's, uh, I, um, it doesn't really make sense without the second part, but let's just skip that. And so since the two of his friends annoyed him a whole time, he goes to the living room and he looks at his pet dragon. He's like, well, at least you're here with me. And then the pet's gone and there's a note on the floor. And he said, sorry, he's me on vacation. Can't deal with this coronavirus. Move to Florida. <laughs> and then he's like, you're kidding me. <laughs> Okay. All right. Excellent. Thank you, Jonathan. Uh, Isa, what about you? The conflict in my story is the, there's a little kid who stayed up the whole night, but saw that actually a dragon was taking all the things that were missing. But the, the next morning, he told the whole village, but nobody had believed him and he was thinking so hard of how to make people believe him. Ooh, fantastic. Thank you for that. Wow. Boom. All right. And what about uh, Jenel? Yeah, let me know. What is your conflict? So um, after the um, they replaced the um, superhero, um, the wife is also the superhero. 
also a, another superhero. She's also um, with the good guys. And when they replace her, um, the hero has a special scar on his leg. But um, um, when they replaced him, they didn't have a scar. So the wife understood that it's probably some type of betrayal. And oh. then they start fighting. <gasps> Boom! That is fantastic. Well done. Thank you for sharing with us. That is so great. Okay, and VM, tell us about yours. So, my, so uh, I, I actually have to say number two to for you guys to understand yeah. number three. Okay. So. The thing about these, uh, one second. <laughs> okay, we'll come back to you and you can um, also write it in the chat for us, okay? You can write it in the chat and I'll read it out. Okay, good job, everyone. Let me see if I have anything in the chat, not yet. Okay, so um, Vian, please write that in the chat, sweetie, and I'm gonna read it out to everyone. Now let's take a look at the next part. Now we're coming down from our excitement, yeah? And the hero or the heroine or your characters are celebrated for defeating the enemy or yeah, uh, uh, coming out the other side of the conflict. So let's take a look at mine. So the police come and arrest Steely Burgers. The cash is returned to the restaurant and Wonder Woman is the heroine, heroine. Okay, so now we're starting to come down from that climax. Let me know, how is your character being celebrated? Yes, how are they being celebrated? How did they defeat the enemy? What we've got here in the chat, the cat runs toward the dog, the jump, dog jumps over him, the dog runs into a tree <laughs> and runs away from the cat. <laughs> Tapas, yeah, I like that. That's very good. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, let's see. I want to hear, I'll give you a minute or two <laughs> to come up with how your hero is being celebrated or how they defeated the enemy or got on got through the other side to, of their conflict. Yep, raise your hand. Let me know. Oh, Isa is okay. Yep, listening to you. It's Isa. Isa, I'm so sorry, Isa. Yep, go ahead. So, as the little kid um keeps thinking, there was this phoenix who actually um had been watching over the village, but nobody had knew, and then she appeared and all the villagers were stunned, and mm -hmm. she was saying that there was a dragon who was stealing all the um, missing stuff. So mm -hmm. everyone then stays up the night, the whole night, and then they see the dragon as they like um, stop him, and then the little kid and the phoenix is like all the villagers are happy with them because they had saved all the people's um, belongings. All right, very good, Isa. Super, super story. Thank you very much for sharing that with us. Okay, I'm ready to listen to Jonathan. Okay, so ever <laughs> since the pet left, it's been five months and so he's watching TV and it says on the news, now you can officially go out to supermarkets, movies, and all places. He's like, yes, with masks on. <laughs> oh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that's, that's it. Good. All right. Super, super, super. Well done. Okay. All right. Anyone else that wants to share, please, please, please type it in the chat because I would love to read. Oh, let me see. I got one. I got a hot one here. Let's see. Yep. So a friend of the dog finds out about the attack and releases another serum for the dino called Idominus Rex, ooh, which creates clones of itself, so does Scorpio Rex, and they battle it out until the real dinos are left and the Idominus Rex wins. Wow, fantastic. Wait a minute, we've got one more. Janelle wants to share. Go ahead. How is your superhero defeated or your heroine, um, sorry, how is your villain defeated or your superhero celebrated? So, um, 
Um, then the wife secretly tells that um, they have a dad and he's a doctor. He's a scientist uh-huh. doctor. And they yeah. tell him to create this thing where they can keep the um, bad guy and the other people um, captive. So he makes that and the <coughs> superhero gets free from the um, other guys and uh, the bad guys. And the doc and the scientist or the father shoots um um uh, shoots everyone with the injection, and everyone gets captive and they call the police and they get oh, arrested. all right, super super great job. Thank you for sharing that with us. That was fantastic. Okay, you guys are doing such a great job. It's just amazing. So our last one is finally our resolution, right? The ending of our story, a satisfying ending for the hero or the heroine or any characters in the story. Okay, so mine is Wonder Woman learns the important lesson that she must always be prepared even on her day off that's her lesson okay what is the ending what is the resolution for your story yes take a moment here and write it on your papers or your notebook whatever you're writing on yeah when you're finished type it in the chat and raise your hand because i really want to know how some of these stories are ending because they're all fantastic oh janelle you're already ready (laughs) it's so exciting okay go ahead um, so, so mm-hmm. I created um, I created a thing where there are two endings, mm-hmm. one for the good Ooh. guys and one for the bad guys. Mm-hmm. First ending for the bad guys, they all go to jail and they have to stay in jail for five years. And oh. for the and the other ending for the good guys is they celebrate a party, and yeah. um and they uh. And they and they have a party with drinks and cake and all that. Oh, fantastic. That is a super ending. Well done. Well done. Okay. Let me see if there is there anyone else? I'll give you another minute to um, write your resolution. Yeah. Or your oh oh oh. Okay, here we go. I'm listening to you. So the end for my story is uh the phoenix and the little a boy are like uh, are given the title of heroes of the village and everybody mm. like celebrates with them having like a party excellent i love it great job well done thank you for sharing that with us all right and i'm listening to ahana yes yes What's the ending of your story? Um, so they're gonna have a party because um, the superhero he defeated the Dark Knight, and um, it's also his birthday. Oh, very good. That's excellent. What are two celebrations? Fantastic. Well done. Yes. Okay. And Jonathan. Um, so the end of the story is that it's like three years later, so it's 20, uh, so it's Oh, no, 20, not three years later, please. Yeah, yeah. and so it's 2022, <laughs> and so we're like, well, finally COVID's over, and we can all rest, and oh. so then it, uh, the news suddenly turns on, and it's like, okay, people, a COVID spike has gone up, COVID-22 oh. uh, has now appeared, uh. and then it's like, that's it. Come on, Drago. We're going to Florida. <laughs> the, the, the pet's name is Drago. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan, great story. Great story. Amazing. Well done. Okay. Let me see what we've got here in the chat. No, not 2022. No, Jonathan. Okay. The cat learns that being smart while fighting the dog is better than running. Oh, I love that, Tapasia. That is fantastic. Yes. Excellent. You guys are just awesome. All right. So now that we've finished our plot line story, let's take a look at our captions and our balloons. So captions, we use captions um, using, excuse me, using captions is one way that we can narrate our story. Okay. So anything, because we don't want to overcrowd our Um, panels. So, you know, you want to make sure that you are writing just the most important parts of the story. And, (laughs) excuse me, 
in the in the captions you can narrate the story you can also use the captions to tell what the character is thinking yeah write down the character's thoughts and the captions are usually written at the top or at the bottom so if you take a look here yeah if you take these here are the captions Okay, so this is where you can narrate your story or you can talk about the character's thoughts. Okay, and then let's talk about some speech bubbles. Yeah, oh, speech balloons. I like to call them speech bubbles because bubbles is one of my favorite words. Um, so the speech balloons or the speech bubbles are the words that we're actually going to use for the any words that the characters is saying out loud for any kind of dialogue or for sound effects, okay, like boom. <laughs> okay, so if we take a look here, we have our, <clears throat> excuse me, we have our speech bubbles or speech balloons here, yeah, where the character are talking are actually talking or saying something out loud or if there are any sound effects okay so you have to decide what's going to go in your captions and what's going to go in your speech bubbles all right let's see what's next all right <clears throat> now Okay, and then let's talk about panels. Yeah, so a comic strip page, one page can have um, between three and nine panels. And the number of panels depends on the length of your story, how, how long your story is, and how many pictures or illustrations you want to include. Now you can take a look here. Not all of the panels have to be squares. Okay, you can also use, you can also use circles, you can use stars or different shapes. Okay, um, so this one is the three panel. Yeah, you can make one big, you can make a big one and one small. All right, it all depends on how big your pic you want your picture to be. Yeah, um, you can also have uh, six panels with all kinds of different shapes. Okay, so it doesn't al it always just have to be a square or a rectangle. It can be circles or any kind of shape that you want. Okay, so the number, remember that the number of <coughs> panels is determined by how long your story is and how many pictures you have or are going to include in your comic strips. And one thing that's very important, guys, don't overcrowd your don't overcrowd your panel. Okay. Don't overcrowd your 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 pictures and your wording. Okay. Just put um the the most important parts of your story and the ones that are going to make your story clear. Okay. And you remember that you can use your captions to tell your story, whatever don't you don't want to put in a speech balloon. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at my comic, okay? So as I mentioned to you before, Wonder Woman, she wants a day off. She wants to go get something to eat. Yeah, and she decides at the last minute that she is going to take her whip with her. Yep, and then she gets to the restaurant and she sees that that naughty Steely Burgers is taking the cash in burgers. Yeah, and she flies into action to take him down. She unleashes her whip and hangs him upside down. And Wonder Woman is celebrated for being a hero and she realizes that she cannot take a day off she must always always be ready so as you can see here i have my captions up here telling my story yep <coughs> excuse me and i'm only putting here in my bubbles the things that I want to say, Stealing Burgers is saying, I got so much cash in burgers. <laughs> okay, so that is how you're going to determine um, what you want on your comic strip. All right, so whoops, one second, one second. Okay. All right, so do you want to know how to make a plot line into a comic strip? Stay tuned for Miss Sanskriti, who's going to show you how to transition all your fantastic stories into a comic strip. And it has been an 
absolute pleasure to be with you today. You all did such a fantastic job. Awesome to all of you. You have a one hour break. So go get something to drink, something to eat, <laughs> wiggle around, move around. Yeah. And take a break before you get started with your comic. All right. Bye bye, everyone. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>